I can't keep. Morning, pretty. Morning, bus bus. Get over there. Lay right there. Not laying where we eat. This is madness. Oh, Kitty, you're in for a surprise. Uh, should I strap her in too? Yes. <laughs> oh, she's over there now. What's going on here? He did a little flippy. Now he's stuck. <laughs> Stay bus. See what the world looks like. No, look. He just gets to where you can see it. Here, now you rock the baby. Buzz, buzz. Quite nice out there. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to this video in the RV. Uh, this time we are up in Georgetown, Texas. This is Wednesday, so it's just a normal work day for us. So I'll be doing emails. Matt's going to be doing phone calls and, and emails and whatever else he does. I don't know what he does. I don't either. And then I'm going to go to the gym at some point today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. He smells like toots. I think he's just a bag of toots. I think you made him toot. Oh, did oh, I? Come on. Hey. Oh, anyway, let's get Sit started down. with the Sit video. Down. So a few hours have passed since you guys saw us last. I finished my emails, worked on some editing for the next YouTube video. He was outside making sales calls. How many calls did you make while you were outside? I don't know. Guess. 30, 40. It's a good amount of calls. And then he's about to go make some more calls. We both had breakfast. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to the House of Gains, the Z gym, <laughs> and do a little workout. I'm not gonna film there because it's a new gym and that would be super awkward for me. So I'm probably gonna do some cardio, maybe some like light circuit training because then tomorrow I have deadlifts again. So I don't wanna be too sore, but I do wanna get something in because it felt really good to lift yesterday and be in that new environment um, as much as I was nervous about it initially, but I'm gonna go get my workout in and then I will see you guys back here for lunch. So my lunch here, what is it, Matt? Beans, <laughs> tofu, uh -huh. spinach. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, lots, lots of spinach. Uh, is that a carrot, I see? Yeah, and some stir fry. So the tofu and the veggies here, which is like an Asian stir fry is what it's called, these are air fried. And then I put some hummus over the top and what I did to make it more of a dressing is I diluted the hummus with water and then drizzled it over. So this huge bowl, Guys, this is probably less than 500 calories. I would guess it's less than 500. And then I've got my bowl. I call this protein sludge. It's basically like protein pudding, protein powder with some um, peanut butter spread and then some little cookie dough balls that I put in there too. So I'm gonna eat this. He's got more calls. I've got more work to do. Then who knows what else we'll get into. Ooh. Uh -oh. All right, one of the um, less fun parts about having the RV is filling up your black tank before you leave. Uh, so we're here, it's Wednesday, we're staying through Friday. So we have to pack everything up, un just undo everything to go dump the black tank and then we come back, <laughs> we rehook up, we re-level. Yeah, but I have a feeling that your black tank is not full because it's not hitting that full mark, it's just stuck at that two thirds. So I think something's actually tripping that second sensor that's in there. 
So all that happens is water hits that and it says that the circuit's complete and mm -hmm. it shines that light. So should we just keep pushing it or do you want to go ahead and dump it? Well, might as well dump it and then we can try to fill it back up to two thirds. Yeah. We'll do <laughs> some a few days. serious like rinsing well, out. What I want to do, yes, I'm going to rinse out a lot of it because we didn't do that so much last time and try to clean it all out. And then put a whole nother, uh, what do they call stinky pills? Yep, all the stinky pills. So we've got pretty much everything done and then we have to hook up and head to the dump station. Okay, the deed is done. I feel like we did a really good job of cleaning out the tank and the black water hose this time because nobody came up behind us so we were not rushed in any way. This guy didn't try jumping out the window again, so. I'm up here now. This guy. <laughs> all is good, all is good. Um, what's the plan for the rest of the day, Matt? They're going for a hike, maybe. Yeah, it is hot. I need like a poker. <laughs> Let's put on a swimsuit so we can maybe go back to that place and get in the water. Do you think that's that's swimmable? Swimmable. If there's any other way to get in, we should look that I up. I saw a guy jump in earlier, but that's because he something broke off his boat. Oh. And then the boat stopped, and I, I heard for like 30 minutes, like, cussing. Did you, really? Yeah. Dang. Him and his friend. Sad I missed that. Are you? <laughs> Pretty much, that would have been me. All right, uh, we will see you guys very, very soon. Kitty escaped. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, she's over there now. Okay. Yeah. Do you want some food, kitty, kitty? <gasps> Something that happened while we were dumping our black water. Man, this is a great idea. I'm gonna hook the dogs up to a tree, just tie them off so that they can hang out rather than Brady trying to jump out the window like last time. Well, I tie Brady up to a tree and he takes off and breaks the leash just broke the metal, like the hook part. There's that. But, I mean, we all made it back safely, so we're all good. Yeah. Okay. Get a baby. Get a baby. Ah, oh, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Kidding. Oh, but she was purring. I thought it'd be interesting. We have been in the RV for... Weeks. How long? <laughs> like two months now? Yeah. So I thought that we could do, so far, our favorite and least favorite things about living in an RV. What do you think? What I think like my favorite is? Yeah. My favorite thing about living in an RV is that you can leave with all of your things. Go wherever you want to. So that's, I mean, that's a very obvious one. Wherever-ish. Yeah, wherever-ish. So wherever we're willing to go within our comfort level at this point. And so that eventually that comfort level is going to expand, you know. Yeah, it's nice. We're looking at it at a lake view. It's, yeah. it's cool. What's your favorite thing is? Leaving. Leaving. My favorite thing, actually, oddly enough, is the space. Like, how little it is. I just like how cozy it is. Him and I have never had an issue with being, like, close. <sighs> uh, <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> and with the dogs, I, I think it's like fun little adventure that we're always on. But everything is cozy. Everything has a place. Except the cat. I don't know I how know. she made it in here. <laughs> I know where everything is. Things have to be put away. So that keeps me a little more accountable with being a bit more organized. Which is different for you. It's very different. It's uncomfortable, but I'm growing more comfortable with it. So I love it. the actual small space of it. We, whenever we went to stay at my sister's house, they've got a big house, and we were, what is your deal? <laughs> when we were moseying around their house doing stuff, I was like, man, there's just so many things, and that's exactly what we had. We just had a lot of things, and not that it's you know necessarily a, a bad thing in itself, but for us, we don't need that stuff. So. I just like that we have what we need, legitimately what we need, and I'm, I'm thinking of a few things that I haven't even touched since we've been in here, so I'll probably get rid of some shoes and shirts. Um, yeah, there's actually some, well, a few shirts for me too, a few clothes. I'm actually going to downsize more of the stuff back behind us too, not the dog. It's your least favorite thing. <laughs> you! <laughs> 
You're my least favorite thing. <laughs> well, my least favorite thing is probably uncertainty of things, or the like unexpected. Really, eventually, we're not going to have to pay for more stuff. Mm -hmm. It's that initial investment that they get you, and then from there, it's a pretty stable-ish lifestyle, unless things go wrong, which right. things are gonna go wrong. So it's like maintaining good finances until something goes wrong. Yeah. And then all your savings go to that, and then you save up again for the next catastrophe. <laughs> but that's the part, so. I think my least favorite so far has been dealing with the black water. <laughs> You dealing it's, with the black water. No, I mean, it's, it's not that bad, but just, and then in the heat, like, it's gonna get sticky. Like, I had an accidental whiff of it, and I was like, mm, 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 mm. I haven't had a single problem with it. No whiffs? <laughs> I don't know where she's you getting these magical whiffs from. You have a terrible sense of smell. Your sense I'm of smell I'm made to live awful. in here, I guess. I don't know. But, I mean, that really, that's not that big of a deal in itself. I think that's, it's just been my least favorite part, but it's not even that terrible of a thing. And I'm pretty sure you don't like it because now that you know that there's another way to do things, yeah. now you're like, well, now we don't need this. I've Why gotten, are we having to do this stuff? I've gotten in my head that we're going to do a composting toilet, and so I'm kind of over the whole black tank and worrying about the poop pyramid and all of that stuff. So There's a whole other worry. What do you do with it? That's Where do true. you put it? I don't know what to do with right. compost. She doesn't even know Once that. you compost your stuff. I don't know. I think that's that's my least so far that I can think of. Outside of just worrying about stuff, as he said. Uh, so worrying about the tires. In that previous video that we uploaded about all the things that we have bought since getting the RV. So worrying about those finances. But I think finance is a staple worry. So I can't really say that that's my least favorite thing. Because I'm always going to be worrying about money. It's just what I do. That's what she does. It's what I do. It happens. I mean, our dogs or us have an issue. We have insurance for it, but there's still that cost and that uncertainty. And, you know, it mm. happens. That's life. That's life. Just enjoy it. So, I just wanted to say thank you guys for tuning into today's vlog. If y'all have any questions for us, I don't know. Do you want to do like a QA and a soon? Yeah, ask me something. We, we do want a Q&A soon. What um, do you want to know? So if you guys have any questions for us, leave them in the comments below and we will do a Q&A video if we get enough questions. But if we only get like two, it's not really. I'll still do it. I'll really do a little sneaky one. I'm not gonna tell her about it. She's gonna, I'm just gonna upload those two answers. Hey, what do you want for dinner? I don't know. What do we have for dinner? Everything. <laughs> I'll have that. <laughs> okay, um, I think that's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you're having a good day as well. Have a good weekend. And we will see y'all on Monday. Have fun out there. Bye. Oh, I did this like, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye.